Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can easily order components for a plant maintenance order using the Ariba Procurement Content Catalog. So we're going to create a plant maintenance order first, and then we'll attach a component using the Ariba Catalog to the components of that order. Then once we save that order, the item will be created into a purchase requisition. So we'll begin in our dashboard right here, and we'll go to logistics, and this is where we'll go to create this plant maintenance order. So we'll go to plant maintenance, maintenance processing order, and then we'll go to create. And we'll just enter in information related to our purchase order. Set the order type as PM01. We'll have a medium priority. We'll enter in our planning plant and our business area. And for this, we'll reference another order that we already have. And I already know this order number, so we'll just enter this in. Then we'll hit this green check to proceed from here. And now we'll enter in just other information related to this particular order. So for the sake of this demo, I'll just put in PM the demo. Enter in our work center. And then we'll enter in our basic start date. And I'll just enter this in a week from today. Now we'll go to this components tab, and this is where we can attach that item from the Ariba catalog. So to do this, all we need to do is go down here to the bottom and click on this catalog button. From here, we have a selection of catalogs. Um, I'll go into this Ariba one here just by double clicking on this. Now we're at the catalog where we can select any of these components to add to our order. And so for this order, we'll take a look at purchasing a drill bit. So from the simple search functionality, we can pull up a variety of different components. And so for this one, what we need to do to add these, we're going to add these drill bits to our order. We can just click on this check button here, and then we can go add to, add to cart. We can do this for a variety of other different components. It's all very similar. We can also search by vendors or suppliers, I mean, and categories and other search areas. And we can see that this was just added to our shopping cart up at the top. Now, once you're done picking out different components, we can go pull up our shopping cart, or we can actually go to review cart just from here. And we can just take a look at everything that we have in our shopping cart and review what we have that we are about to purchase. So once you're finished, you can select this checkout button. And this will return us to the PM order. Now when we return from the Ariba catalog, we should be able to click this OK check mark right here and we'll be able to see these items in the components tab now I'll go ahead and save this and we will be presented with a order number Now 
now we're brought back to this create menu sorter screen once again and so from here I'll go ahead and pull up the view view order so we'll go back to our main dashboard and from here it's pretty simple to do that we can just go back to this tab this index tab and instead of going to create we can just go to display this will bring up the IW33 transaction for all display orders and this automatically brought in that order number, so I can just go ahead and hit enter. And here is our order. So to do that component that we just pulled up, we'll go back to our components tab. And we'll highlight this and then go down to the purchase button right here. And then this will bring you to the purchasing data tab of the item detail. And note that a few different Piece of information have been brought over from the catalog including price, material group, vendor, and then vendor material number. And we also have a purchase requisition number right here now down at the bottom and we can view the detailed view of that by clicking on this button. And again we can see short text, price, material group, vendor, and vendor material number have been brought over from that catalog. So we'll click exit to go back to that maintenance order. Now from here, we'll go ahead and create the purchase order from this purchase requisition. So to do that, we'll enter in transaction ME58. And we'll filter by vendor. Um, this is already populated right now. So we'll filter by vendor and then plant. So we can pull up these purchase requisitions by that criteria. We can see that there is just one purchase rec, and that's the one that we just created. So I can double click on this, click OK. And so from here over on the left, we'll open this up a little bit, you can see that this is the current open requisition that we have right here. And this is the one that I had just created. So to bring this in, we'll drag this to the shopping cart icon. It looks like this is already open in a separate window. So we'll close that. Right, we can enter in quantities. And then enter through our warning signs. And then to save this, um, very easy, just click the save icon. And then that will create our purchase order. Oops, so it looks like I have an extra line of drill bits right here, so we'll go ahead and delete that since we just want one. Go ahead and save that, and now we can see that we have the purchase order that was created, and we have the number down here. So just to recap, we created a maintenance order, and then for that maintenance order, we search the Ariba catalog for the particular components that we needed and attach those to that order. Um, and that catalog brought in a load of information associated with that particular component. We saved that order, uh, created a purchase requisition, and then from there we created a purchase order. So that concludes the video. If you'd like to see how Blue Marble Consulting can implement this solution for you, please visit our website at simple-sap.com. Dot com.